Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm still playing Snake RX because I still think uh, it's fun and I'm having a good time. Before we start, I should regale you. I don't mean to boast. I don't mean to brag. Played one game of TFT last night, came in fifth place. Very excited. I said to myself, that's an improvement. I, I felt like I knew what I was doing to a greater extent. Played another one, came in second. That's right, back on top, baby. Back on almost the top. I'm not trying to say that in my placement matches, that one position in second place took me from Iron 2 to Bronze 4. But I'm not not saying it. Right off the bat, you know, give me the give me the triple crown. We take the flag of uh, Andorra. We take the flag of Romania. We take the flag of Ecuador. We take the flag of Chad. Yeah, I think that that's all the. I think we pretty much got it there. Arena one clear. <clears throat> Two miners, a jester. Jester. Curses enemies for six seconds. They explode into knives on death. I think we go straight for that. The reason... <clears throat> Sorry, it is still pretty early here. <laughs> I, I tried to uh, get some volume in my voice. It is not suited for that yet. The reason I bring up TFT is twofold. I've been locked inside thanks to... Uh, you know, a virus and also uh, a, a new baby. Although, I don't know how long the baby stays new. Since September? Well, the baby's in September. And the virus since March of 2020. So I don't have any other hobbies. The other one is, there's some similarity between the two games. You know, I'm trying to tell you, my brain is slowly, but hopefully surely, getting attuned to the auto-battler mindset. Now, of course, TFT, it's complicated. There might be 900 heroes who, you know, 450 of them look like, um, you know, a college freshman uh, sorority sister's Halloween costume. And then the other ones are like all dudes who look like uh, Sauron. Um, there might be a billion items in the game that, you know, also combine to make a billion item combinations. There might be 17 different kinds of uh, wave that you have to deal with, including dodgeball picking carousels. Uh, okay, I have cleared the arena, but the arena is not clear. <laughs> um, I, this is a reroll for me. I do like AOEs make... Oh, but crits from rogues deal, deal 8x more. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. Especially because we appear to be on a, on a bit of a rogue wave right here. What can I say? Like, crit chance is one of my favorite uh, mechanics in just about any game. But I'm like, I, I have countervailing philosophies. Anyway, the, the point of the earlier joke was I was going to make the joke that, you know, TFT is a little complicated, but hey, it's not like you got to drive the battle bus. Whereas in Snake RX, you know, you're, you're like, hey, hey, keep it down back there, chargers, or I'll turn this snake around. You see that dodge? You see that dodge? Hold on. Just... just why, he, he's about to explode into... Okay, we did it. We did it. That's no problem. Um, but yeah. I, I, I'm excited. I, I'm really just... I'm, I'm having fun playing the game. Uh, and that's why we're playing more of it. We could take a gambler to get a, a sorcerer class. I do... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm flimmier than I expected this morning. It's It, it comes with the 30s, I think. Uh, I, Gambler at least does something as a one-off, and it is a tier 3 unit. I think that's one of the things like that's on my to-do list for, you know, understanding... Um, you know, how to play these games, is that like a level 3... Let me rephrase. No, that's right. A, a level 3 unit... That's tier 1 might be worse than a level 2 unit that's tier 3, or even, like, a level 1 unit that's tier 3. So, just because you have, like, a fully leveled up, uh, you know, Arcanist, for example, I mean, you can create situations where that's your only damage dealer and you're very excited to see it, but that it doesn't mean you should necessarily, like, ignore um, stronger units that don't fit in your synergy, because you can rebuild your synergy around the stronger units, uh, if you're, uh... Which is why I'm not taking any of these, although an elite scares me a little bit. It's why I'm, I'm 
playing like a little slower here, at least from the ambition standpoint, because more than anything else, I'm really just trying to uh, get my economy off the ground. Now, what, once you learn the power of compound interest, like everything changes here. Now, okay, I, I didn't know you would get zapped, quite frankly. This is not going super well. But as long as we can, I was just going to say, as long as we can keep that Jester alive, we got nothing to worry about. We should still be fine. Like, just just get some Arcanist shots out there. The Gambler, I, I don't sweat it. We're going to get hit a little here, or, or even a lot, potentially. Or like a, a lot, a lot, a lot, potentially. Okay, just, you, you got to scout. Just keep it going. Hey, get, getting down to this level is not like an indictment, you know? It's not, this doesn't mean that everything's going wrong. You just keep it moving. Okay, now now things are really bad. This is, this is truly terrible. We will lose. Please, please. <laughs> there you go. Th now this one's around my speed. <laughs> All right, restart me. I, I, we could have invested a little more there. I, dude, I gotta tell you, I love a silencer, I think. Curses enemies, preventing them from using special attacks, and then an arcanist. Um, so we actually have a sorcerer mechanic here early on. We, we won't build around it yet, necessarily, but... We, we only have one unit that does damage. At least unless you're running into enemies like I am right here. But silencing enemies so they can't do special attacks, I think, is, like, defensively, uh, priceless. Wizard. Shoots a projectile that does AoE. I mean, an archer, don't get me wrong, but, like, it, I'm, I'm very simple. We got some royal blues. Let's add some baby blues in here and, and you know, see how these work together. Obviously, like, early on, we, we're, we're not really anticipating that too much is gonna go wrong. Um, I'm just, I, I'm really into the idea that having the silencer is basically like a flat difficulty down. And then if we can make that attack repeat often enough that enemies almost never get the ability to do special attacks, I'm even happier, I think. Um, so if the Beastmaster crits, we will spawn, uh, critters, which is, you know, fitting. However, I don't think that that actually, uh... I don't think it does anything until we get to the crit synergy via rogues. So we're just gonna just gonna play cool for now. It's going okay. I got. I mean, I guess like what I'm trying to say is be flexible early on here, right? Like you don't have to shove yourself into an archetype. New game plus two is no joke. Just just drive the snake around. I will say I wish they could get the lead out, like if they took the restrictor plate off this thing, like Will Ferrell said in, in old school. This baby's not exactly street legal, so keep it on the hush-hush. But thanks for uh, for watching, you know. I, again, I, I'm basically, the, there's nothing rigid happening with this like 9 a.m. time slot. Warriors are stronger if they lose uh, HP. I, I'm, I'm a centipede man, honestly. Like, being able to move faster helps us dodge so many annoying attacks. It's like I want our economy off the ground, but we only get interest at levels of 5, so we can buy a 1-cost unit anyway. Um, let, let's get an archer going here. We I think I've disrespected rangers. Um, but I'm... I'm a few times a week, I'm getting a little recording time in the morning that I haven't had historically. Uh, so it's nice for me to be able to play some, some extra stuff. It won't always be Snake RX, but right now this is a game where, you know, every morning I I, uh, I get up, I have a cup of coffee, and I'm, I'm excited to give it a try and see if I can learn something new. Been playing a lot of FTL on stream lately as well. I mean, that, that's a heck of a game. <laughs> I think we should take a Vagrant. Same philosophy, like, it, you don't get any extra advantage out of being at 11 gold um, from an interest standpoint versus 10, so wh why don't we take a Vagrant that can then, A, do some damage and maybe help us get over this, you know, early game hump that we got stuck at last time, um, but B, because Vagrant is a, 
is a triple class, right? I know I said like last episode it was a single class, and then I was embarrassed with my with my words and my deeds. Um, okay, well, this is why you need a next level silencer, I think, so you can get a few more extra attacks out there. Um, but it, it's a, a one cost triple class is like that's a huge enabler, man. That's a and and not in a bad way, like not in an A and E intervention way, but in like a in a way that's very positive for us. I gotta be honest, three cost barrager enables our uh, our ranger synergy, and just you know, this is maybe not the most sensible way to think about it, but you know, it's it's a heuristic that I'm gonna continue to use. Um, Anytime I get a level 3 unit, I'm going to think to myself, if I can afford it, uh, excuse me, I guess those don't count as special attacks. If I can afford it, I'm going to look at it and be like, that seems like a, a great option for us to get here. But obviously, as you can tell, this is working out uh, a lot better than our last run. <laughs> like, a lot, a lot better than our last run. Come on, you, you're toasted. We just, uh, just a single uh, ranger shot. Okay, so wave six, no problem, man. Excuse me, the elite is dead. You do not get to spawn any more enemies. You do get to spawn the, the greatest song in the game, though. It sounds like an anime intro. I would know. I would know. We don't have enchanters, um, but that's an interesting way to possibly play. Extra knockback force. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna try the knockback just because the barrage kind of fits there. And th what that's this. Forcer. Hmm. We'll think about it. Right now, I don't mind a vagrant. Another rule that people have told me, and again, all rules are made to be broken in this sense, but um, another heuristic, another rule of thumb, another shortcut people have told me is if you don't see anything compelling in a shop, but you're pretty confident you're going to win the wave anyway, there might not be a reason to start uh, re-rolling until you hit max interest. Which I think is an interesting way to think about it, you know? If we are comfortable and we, you know, because we dominated the last wave, we're pretty comfortable right now. Then why throw away, you know, future earnings when instead we could uh, in all likelihood just be totally fine. Not not waste our money on fruitless rerolls or potentially fruitless rerolls and just get that, you know, get, get our uh, our scrap working for us. Now we did lose um, something there. Okay, it's 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 all going wrong. Don't kill that guy. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> we're still fine. Now I'm like, well, you, I don't know. Now I'm like, maybe I should have spent, but I'm also like, maybe I should just learn to drive better. There, there's always that. <laughs> all right. I mean, it's like it it actually went totally fine. Believe it or not, we won comfortably. In spite of the fact that we lost half our units. I could be compelled to reroll here, I think. And I'm just looking. I kind of want a Sage. And and the reason is, I don't know <clears throat> if this... And, and let's take a Pyromancer briefly to enable our, our Nuker synergy as well. Like, we're going a little wider here, but that's okay. And the Pyromancer should be close to the front, or, or at the front even. Um... Yeah, let's go at the front. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going a little wider this time. And I, I, I don't mind. But I, we, we should maybe soon, once we get closer to, uh, like, max level interest, then we got kind of like a passive, uh, you know, unit per turn being generated or unit, unit per uh, level being generated for us, we can start to think about maybe pivoting or, or cementing the synergies that we want. Like right now, I'm in, I'm enjoying the fruits of a broad economy. We got a very diversified snake portfolio, um, but at some point we're gonna want to get to those like gold level synergies, right? We're not just gonna want to chill out and uh, you know try to go wide into everything. I mean, your snake can only reach a certain max length, and even then, it depends on environmental effects as much as anything else. So there's a level two vagrant. I wouldn't mind uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we can add one more thing to the snake to begin with. Um, a magician with lower enemy defense. For now, why not? It costs one. 
We can sell it back probably for one. <laughs> and it enables a, a synergy for us uh, for a, a hard wave. And then I'm thinking, to be honest with you, I mean, maybe we're not at the level of the game where we should be. Let's go. We got super lucky. We still got super lucky. Um, maybe we shouldn't be thinking about this uh, in the sense... Okay, there goes Pyromancer. Uh, of, uh, you know, uh, trying to constantly do new runs when we haven't even won since our very first bespoke episode here. That's going to hurt. Never mind, we got him. I just it's it's all the turrets, man. If we if we can keep the turrets from firing, oh my god, there's four of them. Then I'm a, I'm a happy man. This is not so bad necessarily. It's just don't let the turrets get to you. That's the oh come on, that's too much. That's too much. Don't don't no no not like this. Stay far away. Okay, just. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have gone in for the contact damage there. They've been silenced! Please! The great silencing. But anyway, long story short, this was all just me trying to say that I'm excited to maybe uh, try to give knockback an attempt to work. That went super well. <laughs> Extra AoE damage, rangers and rogues. Hitting walls grants a movement speed buff. G give me the AoE damage for now. We can use it. And then here. I would say now we could start to think about really trying to make this run pop. But I'll tell you, you know what I'm going to do? You're going to think I've lost my mind. I'm going to level up our shop to level 3. I'll buy those out because those are cheap. And now we're going to start to think about building our late game composition. Now that we got a shop that's going to predominantly generate tier 3 units for us. Our economy's looking okay. Now we got plenty of runway here. I would say bit by bit we're just gonna try to make it work. What are we gonna focus on? I know I said knockback. I'm realizing now this was naive and my brain was on autopilot. We should focus on strong units first and then build around second, I think. So to try to force an archetype early, Obviously, I have some, you know, excitement about the idea of trying to, whoops, <laughs> trying to roll AoEs because we have plus 50% AoE damage, but, um, this is fine. Priest heals all allies for 20% of their max HP. I do think, you know, the Sage is, is likely to stay here. Arcanist will level up once. Priest is a tier 4 unit, but I'm not sold. Flagellant. Makes other psychers better. Grants all 20% deals 20 damage to self, but grants extra damage to ally. Okay, I see. And then you pair this with a healer, and maybe you get a, a, a damage buff over time. Um, I do think the usurer is actually really good. It enables two synergies minimum for us. And also does damage per second. I was just going to say, we got to have some mono class units. Like, I would prefer not to dump a Sorcerer. We can definitely... I mean, our Rangers are not doing too bad. What, we have three Rangers? At some point, we're going to have to decide that something's got to go. And I think we, we don't care much for the Mage yet. So let's do that. And all of a sudden, we've got, like, every um, possible synergy enabled except for three, which admittedly is not every, but... I think a, a, a big win for me, like, from a mechanic standpoint, is learning to realize that, you know, spending one gold to enable a synergy that you only want temporarily is totally fine. You know, if, if it's late enough that your economy is doing great, that's a very cheap cost. However... We still got a lot to learn. <laughs> I'm saying this is true in TFT as well. Uh, it, there's just like so much information to process every time you're in the shop. Thankfully, Snake RX, you know, is, is a single player game, so you don't have to um, sweat the time limit too much. In TFT, I'm, I'm constantly like, you know, just give me a second to think about it. 
So I try to overly simplify things sometimes. Whereas in Snake RX, I think you get a little bit more time to puzzle it out for yourself. I know this looks bad, but, you know, here we go doing just fine again. We've got a little spooky there. A couple extra hits would have put us in a rough spot, but we didn't take a couple extra hits, so nothing to worry about. So a spell blade would enable our mage synergy. What about a warden? Creates a force field around a random unit that prevents enemies from entering. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm interested. Okay, it is tier four. And it, it fits a forcing synergy, which we're attempting to go for. You know what? I'm going insane. I I don't know if we're gonna live through this wave. Like I, I might have just cursed us. But I'm gonna I, I'm trying to get our shop to the maximum level that it'll get to. Uh to Oh jeez Louise, man. To give us some truly spectacular units. And then oh no no no. It's the blues, man. And then we're gonna we're gonna try to build around those like insanely strong units early. I'm still paranoid we're gonna lose this one because of these these blue lords. Yep. <laughs> no, no, no. Just what are you talking about? The elite's dead. Stop spawning. The elite's dead. Anyway, we're fine. So we've invested in our shop, which is good because we're gonna get stronger units. But now let's be a little scared. <laughs> Rangers and rogues do more damage. Projectiles do more damage up close. I mean, we do have rangers, but I'm willing to spend 10 here. Let's do secondary AoEs, possibly. I'm not thrilled, but... Okay, level 2 Sage. We have a... Next shop level gives us a 50% chance to see tier 4 units. I think we got to prioritize the units that we don't mind losing, right? So we don't mind losing anything with warrior attached. Pretty much everything else is going to cost us a synergy. Now, what unit has warrior? It's our level 1 vagrant, which also enables our ranger synergy. But the vagrant only enables one synergy. So in my head, I'm like, I can sell you to try to get maybe... I mean... Let's start with just a better unit, but then also a better unit that maybe could enable two synergies, right? Like here, okay, Corruptor spawns critters if the Corruptor kills an enemy, and this also enables a, a Ranger synergy. Okay, I'm going to try that. Hunter also fills some synergies for us, but it Infester does as well. I mean, actually, it doesn't fill a synergy, but it, it, it enhances some of our existing ones. And a reroll. We'll, we'll pay for a usurer. I don't know. I, I think I'm, I'm spinning my wheels a little bit, but you have to recall that from a financial standpoint, we're way less than halfway through the game. You, really, it's just started. Like, the first few waves, you, you just click the buttons, and then you, you win easily. I'm trying to avoid a couple of things, and they're countervailing, unfortunately. One of the things I'm trying to avoid is uh, over committing to an archetype too early, then when we don't get the roles we want, just being totally screwed. The other one is m maintaining way too much flexibility and not going hard when the opportunity presents itself, and as a result, never achieving a truly good synergistic run and uh, <laughs> just dying as a result of that opportunity cost. So, you know, it's, uh, I mean, it's a lot like life. It, things, things sometimes only reveal themselves. Uh, with clarity and hindsight. So you gotta you gotta offer some forgiveness for yourself, but simultaneously analyze these opportunities as they come along. That went totally fine, obviously. Uh, we we reroll a bit. Psychino's interesting, but I I don't think it's for us. These are units we already have, which makes for easy choices. What's the next thing we wouldn't mind losing? Well, t truth be told, we could lose the Corruptor to replace it with uh, a better Ranger to work towards that level 3 Ranger synergy. I think we also have to accept that AoEs are probably going to be the best play for us. Who has AoEs? Like, 
arcanist, sage, witch, probably uh, voiders or nukers is the is the main play here. I think. Okay, like a cannoneer, or maybe maybe this is what we go for. Maybe we go for ranger, ranger nuker. So hold on, I want to keep you. Cursor, Mercenary, Void... Well, let, let's get rid of uh, bad units first. Like an Arcanist that's only a Sorcerer, a Mono-class unit, goodbye. You've been replaced with a Cannoneer. And we're working towards Ranger Nuker. Okay. The, just putting it in my head. Mono-class units maybe is okay. Duo-class units that are Nuker Ranger is, is highly positive. And if we can get triple class, like, expensive units that, that fulfill our, our niche here, I'm a very happy man. So we're gambling that, that our future synergies are going to be worth more than the, the pain that we're going to feel from the loss of this Arcanist. And we're, we're hoping for some Echo Barrages as well, don't get me wrong. I, th I think you just have to accept, like, as life goes on in this game, you're going to... Uh, you're gonna lose units. Like, it's 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 a simple science. The best thing. I, oh, this is a little spooky. I'm about to be chased. I'm just hoping I I picked the right direction. We're gonna pivot back around in this. Okay, yeah, we kept him in the AOE as long as possible. Look, we we made it. I got a little scared, but that's okay. This is this is for the best. Barragers leveled up. Okay, so you are a nuker. Throw multiple blades that do AoE damage. I do like it. So I, could we get rid of our silence? Our level 1 tier 2 silencer that does nothing in order to get closer to nuking? Yes, I think we could do that. You do not offer what I'm looking for. You do. You do. I, I can't believe we got to that that tier two um, blade so quickly. Uh, we're gonna keep our archer because they're a cheap enabler for us. This is a hard level here, but I, I don't feel the need to spend down just yet. I could be wrong. I, I thought you had an enormous red knife. <laughs> okay, that's... It's always nasty when you get the turrets. And again, since we've sold our silencer, like we expect to actually have to deal with the special attacks a lot more. I will also add, however, that like even when I had the silencer, I was still getting bodied by a lot of special attacks. So I'm not sure how much it actually like helped us out. Everything appears to be going more or less fine. You definitely don't want to turn into the skid on that one. I mean, those are the worst. What, what can you say, right? That's exactly... We, we got an, uh, an Echo Barrage off of our, our warrior on that one. Oh my god, we're dead? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not dead. We're not dead. We're simply extraordinarily close to death. In fact, like a single hit on either of our units will do it. And also our purple... Uh, oh no, our purple unit works. Oh no, dude. Yeah, this is it. Look, at these attacks are so infrequent. This is not a good sign. You probably don't need me to tell you that. Well, we killed like some units here. We will start to generate some critters. It's just that we can't seem to actually land a shot with any kind of lethality. Once we do, though, I, I mean, this wave is going to come together, but I think the level itself is is just cursed. There we go. Okay. Start. Rebuild it. Rebuild it. As long as the critters stick around. Well, okay, they didn't, but if they did, we would have been okay here. Maybe, but probably not. Let's be honest. Okay, so this is a horrible sign. This is one of the weakest uh, waves I've had as a result of my own ineptitude. Don't get me wrong. What if the game felt bad for me and chose to keep me alive as a result? 
This is horrible. Yeah, this is not where you want to be. <laughs> Anyway, it was, a, it was a pretty bad attempt, all things considered, but we tried something new. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you next time. See ya!